Hello everybody, uh, we're out in the blower room of the Christie Theatre Organ and this is where the uh, a big electric motor and big fan mechanism create the wind for this pipe organ. So we thought we'd start out here uh, and show you sort of some of the things that, that go on. So it's, it's a big seven and a half horsepower electric motor. This is the original motor and blower from the 1930s when this was originally built and installed in the UK, Maidstone, Kent. Um, over on the wall here, we seem we think we have a way to start this and I just want you to hear, oh, well, yeah, you'll hear it in a sec. This over here is the pipe work or the big duct that takes wind out to the organ. Uh, and another little segment will show you where that goes. Um, this hose pipe mechanism here controls the starter resistors that start the motor slow and let it build up speed. Um, it's going to make a little bit of a noise, so but we'll now we'll see if we can get this going. Start button, yes, and away she goes. Okay, having come upstairs from that ducting work that we saw, we can now see in here on, on the floor, in the, we're in the solo chamber. This is where that duct work comes in. And it then goes into a wooden chest that feeds these regulators. And each of these regulators with weights and springs set up the correct air pressure for the different sets of pipes. So under here there's the regulators with the springs on them and then these other boxes like this one here closest to us with the holes in the top, that's called a tremulant regulator and that gives wobble to the sound. So this is a tibia pipe and you wouldn't normally see anything but we've put a little bit of red paper here, light paper, and you can see it blow. So if I press it... Jones, who designed a uh, uh, patented the theatre organ, also patented the foghorn for ships. <laughs> so it is not that far from the mark. <laughs> so here in the solo chamber, the types of pipes that we've got in here, the sets of pipes if you like, there's the tibia, which we saw blowing just before. This here is called the Vox Humana, sounds like a billy goat. Next we've got the oboe, then there's the solo string and right at the very front is called the French trumpet rank. And so that's the loudest, brightest sound in this instrument. chamber so this is on the other side of the stage and what we can see straight here in the front door is the tuba set of pipes um, 
And so we've got most of the pipes here, and then these are the deepest base tuber pipes called the offset chest. Those are clarinet pipes set. You can see the shades at the front that open out into the auditorium and that's what controls the volume of sound that's heard. Up high you can see the chrysoglot, we'll play that in a minute. And then there's the electronics that drives all, it's called the rank drivers. So having had a look in, in behind things, sitting here at the console, um, the organ's set up with three manuals. They've each given names. So the top one's called the solo manual, middle one's called the great, bottom one's called the accompaniment. Down on the floor, we have the pedals. And then in this horseshoe shape arc across here, which is typical of the theater organ, we have these stops all segmented. So these are for the pedal. These here are for the accompaniment. These here are for the grate. And around here, which is hard for you to see from that angle, is the solo for the top. Okay, down here with the pedals, we also have what are called toe pistons. And these particular toe pistons are in what we call the toy counter. So we've got things like a boat whistle, a train whistle, a fire bell, and a bird whistle. Okay, breaking down the colours that you see here in these stops, the white ones are organy sounds. The yellow ones are stringy sounds. Okay, the red voices are reed instruments. So we've got the tuba. And we've got the trumpet. Okay, these buttons between the keyboards allow us to set up what are called registrations or combinations of all these stops to make different sounds. So things like... 